guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade wine, a simple and easy way, uh, known as inmate brewing. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say all these tips and that have came from two guys on YouTube. One's called Craig Tube, and the other one's called Merdin2002. I'll put their links on the description as well so you can have a look for their names and see what kind of videos they've got. Merdin's got one. It pretty much exactly the same idea called super simple wine making and Craig Tube goes into the more uh, bigger process of using fermenting buckets and carboys and whatnot. But today I'm just going to be using a measuring jug, some juice, you can use any juice uh, as long as it's got sugar in it or you can add sugar as long as it's got sugar the yeast can ferment it. Uh, I'm going to use a 2 litre bottle, most important. I've got the yeast. I'm just using Baker's yeast. It's the only one the store had because there's only one store in this town and it's apparently riddled with swine flu, but luckily we've not caught it yet. Uh, got my sugar. Uh, I, I like to use roughly 300 grams per litre. So if I'm making two litres, I'll use 600 grams, but because this has already got sugar on it, I'll take that down a little. And you're going to want to get an air, tight, uh, air seal on that. Uh, basically something that when the yeast is fermenting it creates carbon dioxide and alcohol. The carbon dioxide will try and escape, which is what this is for. When the carbon dioxide tries to escape, this will inflate. It's just a condom in case you can't see it. That will inflate. When that does, you pierce a couple of holes in it. That will let the carbon dioxide escape, but won't let any air back in. Another point to notice is you want to get everything really clean, uh, sterilise it if you can, if not, boil in water, just give it a good clean and you should be fine. Right, so stop rattling on and I best get started. Right, so I'll take my container and this jug also makes it a lot easier to pour into there because if I was trying to do the carton into that small neck, nah, it wouldn't happen. So that's my juice in. Next, just to bring it up to the to the level, I'm gonna add some hot water. Not a lot, it's just enough so I can dissolve the sugar, because otherwise it'll just be floating around in there for ages. What? What's up with your face? I'm using all my juice. Oh so. <laughs> Another thing you also might want is a siphon hose. I don't have one so I just normally strain it out at the end but we'll get to that at a later date. And I'm just actually going to top that up to the litre mark with cold water. I'm actually trying to keep it moving so the sugar just doesn't sink right to the bottom as soon as I put it in. Uh, so yeah, that's me got my orange my water and my sugar. So I'm just going to give that a mix. And next, add your yeast. Add yeast, yeast. Let's see. 
release that, and I want to give that another good shake and stir. Oh, that lovely yeast. <laughs> Just an ordinary condom. I mean, you can use a balloon, but a condom's already sterile, so it just saves a bit of hassle and it's perfectly fine to use. You won't get any problems with it. What you do want to do though is roll it out a little bit because it will inflate as the carbon dioxide starts getting made and you don't want to explode on, on you too soon. Well, I've heard it normally takes about 24 hours, but with the last batch I made it took about 7 and the condom was like out to here, so when that does inflate, you're going to want to take the condom, you're going to want to pinch it, get a normal thumbtack or needle and just punch a couple of holes through it and that'll let the carbon dioxide escape, but as I said, no way I can get back in. And once that's done, you just leave it, just to ferment. You can keep checking on it every now and again. The, the more you'll see uh, little bubbles while it's carbonating, just flowing up. If you see that, it's still going. Uh, the main way to tell is that this will deflate pretty much once it's finished. But if you, as I said, if you still see little tiny bubbles floating around the top, just leave it another couple of days and you're pretty much sorted. So, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I'll post another video of how it goes in about 30 days or when it's finished. And yeah, simple as that. So, just to recap, juice, sugar, just water to top up, yeast, and an air seal, and that's you. Thanks for watching and um, Please comment, rate and subscribe, any tips or anything you want to give or if you've got any different ways of doing it or any ideas then yeah so see you in a little bit.